<clears throat> crisis, challenge, intensity, whatever that means, emotional intensity or circumstantial intensity, can be, and often is, although it's overlooked, a powerful catalyst for inner transformation. Now, when there's a crisis or a challenge, of course, we have to tend to it, attend to it, yeah? Give it some focus on a practical level. And very often that takes up our attention. So awareness gets funneled into that. And that's necessary depending on what that crisis is, whether it's financial or somebody's dying or there's been an accident or whatever it might be, some kind of loss. Of course, we have to attend to it. That's really not the time to try and be at peace <laughs> or to try and be aware of awareness. However, there are moments in that experience whether that experience takes place over minutes or days or months, there are moments when we can, if we're willing, recognize how our awareness, our focus, our attention has totally been funneled in and it's one thing attending practically to something, but when that's done, at least in this moment for this time, then our attention gets caught up in our thinking about it, and it's usually thinking about the future or resisting it in some way. This shouldn't have happened. There's something wrong with me. Why is this going wrong? And so on. And about the future, what's going to happen, and it goes off. Now, that's when we can recognize if we're willing and we're on the sincere path of true inquiry, that's when we can see that attention has been focused into something that is not reality, it's imagination. And that's when we can recognize that and be willing to surrender that tight grip on the imagined future and so on, and recognize that that which was always here and is always here and will always be here is the very fact of, and again, I'm going to use many words for it, awareness, beingness, I amness, and that's what's always here the ground of beingness and the awareness, the I am awareness, yeah, is always here. And that is untouchable, that is untaintable, that is unbreakable. It's like the sky that's always here even when the storm is playing itself out, is appearing. Yeah, but the storm changes, the weather pattern changes but that which doesn't change is always here. And we can recognize that, not as an intellectual belief or concept, but as an energetic reality. That's called surrender. It's the softening of the tight grip of me on what we think is reality, but is not necessarily reality. It's just through, seen through the lens of me-self, me-identity. That's powerful. That's potent. If we can recognize that even for a moment in the midst of challenge or crisis that takes place over a period of time, then we gradually come to undo the suffering of the me-self and there's an inner change of perspective that can take place over time. It may not change the situation, but you can tend to the situation from a place of presence and not from a place of panic. <laughs> yeah, 